All right, so the first lesson with the e-collar and leash pressure, we applied leash pressure and e-collar stem at the same time, telling all of the come. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our leash and just apply e-collar stem. So it's gonna look something like this. Olive, come. Yes, good girl, Olive, good girl. We're gonna walk away. Come. Yes. Come. Yes, good girl. Come. Good girl. Say your dog's name first if the dog doesn't have eye contact on you. But Olive's got the idea that it, the commands are coming for me, from me, so I'm not saying her name to start with because she's got it down. But you may need to say the dog's name before if you have multiple dogs perhaps in the room. Olive, come. Good. Yes. Break. Olive, come. Good. After you get a couple of reps and you see that your dog is coming towards you while you're inside of your house, every time, come. Then what we're gonna do is raise the stress thresholds. Go outside, just in your front yard, do this drill. In your backyard, do this drill. On a walk, do this drill. Then target something. So if you have a dog that barks behind a fence in your neighborhood, work this drill right in front of that dog's um, fence where the dog's barking and your dog is trying to focus on the dog barking but then has to refocus on you. You want to start to train your dog in those stress-filled environments. This is called proofing the command through any real-world scenario. So it doesn't matter if there's a, a car with a trailer or a truck pulling a heavy trailer that's really loud or the dump truck coming by or a dog barking behind a fence. Your dog has been trained in every scenario that can come up. So when you use that command, that recall command, come, you're gonna have that perfect recall no matter what happens.